We'll have a pretty big pile up of movies and shows here. So what I'm going to do is basically I'm going to put this up here so you can see what the is with the timestamps and everything. So if one tickles your fancy and what you want to hear on, you can just click on the time and it'll take you straight to that. So first off, yeah, we've got the first sing quite enjoyed it i have got a review as i did say and i will put it up here so if you really want to hear me thoughts on it do go and check that out but just quickly it was a fun little animation really fun characters i feel it what maybe probably wasn't necessary for a sing number two again if you do click on me sing two review which is next you'll see that i was actually really pleasantly surprised as previously said we've got sing two coming now I do have a review so again i will put that up here was really surprising they took the story where i wasn't expecting maybe it was quite obvious but i just wasn't expecting it had a nice little bit of heart in it and yeah just go and check out that review for more thoughts but in brief you should definitely watch it okay so next up we've got batman 1989 this is a very recent one that i have just watched and again i do have a review which i will put up here for you I'm sure you have obviously probably seen this film before if you've any interest of batman and yeah, it was just really fun revisiting this film and just a really unique take on this world. But as I say, check out that review. Obviously, a one to definitely check out if you haven't seen and if you haven't seen recently. Just for me, a little bit of a downer here is the film Moonfall. And I say a little bit of a downer because this film was on my most anticipated movies list. I'm not huge on disaster films, but watching the trailer, I was very intrigued, it looked really cool. Again, I do have a review, so I will put it up in the usual, but it just, it looked visually cool. It did, I was thoroughly enjoying watching when things were happening on the screen. But the problem is, just try being too smart. It didn't have to go all these lengths. To use the phrase I use in the review, to pull out a smart ass rabbit from its hat, it just didn't need to. But go and check the review for why I was disappointed in this film. For me personally, I wouldn't check it out, but if you're a disaster film fan, you may like it. Okay, so here we are, we've got the pick of the week. And for me, it has to be It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia Season 15. Now, if you've seen any of the previous movies of the week, you'll know I've been looking forward to this season for quite some time. I've had a rerun of all the seasons, I think maybe twice. That might be a little sad. And let us just say, it is worth the wait. Yet again, as I've said, I do have a review, which I'll put up here again. But I thoroughly enjoyed this season. It went over like that. Can't believe it's over already. And I just want the next season to hurry up and come. I love Dennis and especially when he catches COVID and brings out a little bit of his psycho traits. I agree with you. I just, well, I don't know what to do with her. But if you haven't seen this show somehow by now, it's on Netflix, all 15 seasons, at least yet in the UK. So make sure you go and check it out. It's so funny. So there we have it. Another movies or shows of the week over. Have you seen any of the films mentioned? Do you not like anything I've said? Or do you like, or do you like the movie that I didn't particularly find interesting in this? Make sure you do let me know down in the comments. Please do hit that like button and do subscribe for more of these. And a lot more coming down the line. Thank you all for watching. I do really appreciate it and have a fantastic day.